Hi there, welcome back to the Football Spy Show, sponsored by our friends at Renault.co.uk. We're late today because we've been picking up information from around the grounds ahead of another big weekend of football in the Barclays Premier League. Stoke have landed the big Aston Villa striker John Carew on loan until the end of the season. He could make his debut at Fulham tomorrow. West Ham are keen on the former Blackburn bad boy El Hajj Diouf. He had his contract terminated on Thursday night. The word is that Benny McCarthy could go the other way in part exchange. And the Arsenal boss, Arsene Wenger, has confirmed that he's prepared to let Aaron Ramsey go out to Cardiff, uh, his old club, on loan. Elsewhere, Sky Sports News reporting that Manchester United could be about to let Owen Hargreaves join the Vancouver Whitecaps in the L MLS. Uh, Hargreaves has had terrible problems, as you know, with injuries at Old Trafford this season. And I just wonder if we could see United go now for the Real Madrid midfielder, Lasana Diara. Spurs like him. Harry Redknapp has today confirmed that he was in Spain last night. Watch this space. Here's a couple more for you. Everton have signed the 17-year-old centre-back Eric Dier uh, from Sporting Lisbon on loan. Very talented player indeed. And the former Rangers striker Kenny Miller has been unveiled as a Bursa Sport player today in Turkey. There have been some incredible scenes to welcome the former Rangers man. Now, Alex McLeish at Birmingham has missed out on the Spurs striker Robbie Keane uh, and, as you know, Kenny Miller as well. Uh, so, understandably, he wants to keep his interest in Manchester City striker Joe under his hat. The trouble is, when he was asked about it in his press conference yesterday, he didn't do a good job of keeping it under his hat. I've got some quotes here for you. He said, am I interested in Joe? Uh, I don't want to talk about names. We've already lost out on a couple this week in Keane and Miller. People might speculate about someone else, but it's better I remain tight-lipped and I don't give the fans a false hope. I think that's a yes. Right, time for your messages and our self-styled Belgium correspondent, Midgley Grigur, who's been on spy at mirror.co.uk with the latest on the 17-year-old and elect sensation, Romelu Lukaku. You may remember a few papers over there jumped the gun this week, claimed that he'd joined Manchester City when in fact no such deal had been agreed. Well, Midgley has been on, as I said, and he says here, uh, as you might know, he's currently in his last year of high school and he has to finish school uh, because of his parents. This will mean that there will be no January transfer for him. He wants to win this Belgian shoe competition, which I'd imagine is a bit like the Golden Boot, uh, which would mean that he'd have have to stay until the summer at least. Last but not least, uh, Midgley says here, he said that his dream has always been to go to Chelsea, uh, being that uh, Drogba uh, is one of his idols. Thanks very much indeed, Midgley. We'll stay tuned uh, for when he we next sit. Well, you stay tuned and we'll find out when Midgley next sees something in the Belgian press. TL7 wants the Manchester United shirt that I held up the other day. I've actually got it here. <coughs> Here it is. But no, TL7, you can't have it. Uh, Joshy Boy has asked whether Liverpool's Kieran Gibbs is going to Liverpool on loan. No, he's not. Liverpool Kelly, yes, Liverpool will be bringing in fresh faces before the window closes. Kenny Dalglish working very hard indeed on that. And I do agree with bad half. Charles and Sogbia would be an excellent cheap signing for Liverpool, but not for Chelsea. They've got Zhirkov and Malouda. I think Zogbia would do better to go to Liverpool. Uh, Sunderland want him as well. I've also got this message. I want to get it on as well. We've got an email from a serving soldier. He's Alan. He's uh, from Afghanistan. He says here, I'd like to thank you for the great program you could provide to the football fans around the world. Thanks very much. He says here, I'm currently in Afghanistan and Mirror Football is the only site I visit for the latest transfer news. One quick question. Do you think Man United's current squad is good enough to win the league? I think they're lacking a good attacking midfielder. Well, thanks very much indeed for the letter, Alan. I do agree uh, with what you said about United. Most teams that win the league got, got lots of goals from midfield. Lampard had them for Chelsea last year. Ronaldo the season before that uh, for United. It's probably why United being linked with the Borussia Dortmund playmaker Shinji Kagawa. Uh, he's 21-year-old, but his club say that they're not interested in selling him. I do think However, United do have the experience to win the title. Now, because it's Friday, I'm going to read you another uh, uh, slightly long one as well. It's from Luis Cardoso. He's in Chicago, Illinois, in U the USA. He says, hi, uh, Spy. First of all, I'd just love to say that you guys are doing an amazing job. Thank you very much. He says, can I just add, you guys should have a TV deal or something. <laughs> 
I don't know about that. Um, and he also thinks that we should have a one hour show. I don't know where you're going to see what we could put into a one hour show, Luis, but thank you very much indeed. Uh, back to your letter, though, and it, it goes through a lot of stuff here. He says, What's happened to Giovanni Dos Santos at Spurs? He's an amazing player. It frustrates me that Harry Redknapp won't give him a chance. Also, I've stumbled across a news article concerning Man United looking at a player called Andres Guardado. Can you see what you can find? Find out on him, please. Well, two things for you. Uh, firstly, Dos Santos is indeed a good player, but the word at Spurs is that he just doesn't work hard enough, and that's why he isn't in the first team picture. As for Guardado, for those of you that don't know, he's a 24-year-old Mexican left winger with impressive crossing ability. He plays for Deportivo La Coruña in Spain, and he's a key man for that club. Can't see United going for him, though. It cost a lot of money, and they've got Obertan as a young player coming through. They also still have Giggs Park, uh, who can also play on the left, and also Nanny, who's having a very good season indeed. Let's take you around Planet Football for a European roundup. In Germany, Zenit St. Petersburg have made a reported £12.7 million bid for the Germany striker Lucas Podolski. In France, Bordeaux have been forced to accept defeat in their efforts to land the Lorient striker Kevin Gamero. He's 23, he's been linked with a move to England. West Ham have looked at him, but he's very uh, much in favour of a switch to Spain. Also in Spain, reports suggesting that Barcelona's right-back Dani Alves has rejected a new contract offer. Uh, Manchester City have been linked with him. In Italy, keeper Gianluigi Buffon has expressed his desire to remain at Juventus until the end of his career. And also in Serie A, AC Milan keeping tabs on the Borussia Dortmund defender Marcel Schmelzer. He's 22, he's come through their youth academy and he's doing very well indeed. Back to the Premier League and the new Ipswich boss Paul Jewell has made an inquiry about Blackburn defender Pascal Chimbonda. Uh, but he shouldn't have bothered the Sky Sports are reporting that Blackburn have torn up his contract. They're also reporting that Aston Villa have joined the hunt for the highly rated Leeds midfielder Bradley Johnson scored the other night. PSV and Ajax want to sign Ida Gudjonsson from Stoke. He's quite clearly lost his hunger after winning things at Barcelona. And Fulham boss Mark Hughes expressed an interest in taking the Chelsea starlet Gael Kakuta to Fulham on loan, just like we told you yesterday. And just back to Spurs, because I was at the press conference this morning and Harry Redknapp answered directly some questions about various names that were thrown at him. This is what he had to say. Uh, Giuseppe Rossi at Villarreal, good player, not available. Uh, Hulk at Porto, no, not going to happen. I couldn't say that we're close to doing anything with anyone else. As for the whispers linking Spurs with the uh, striker Roman Pavlyuchenko with a move to Sunderland, Harry Redknapp said, no, I doubt it very much. I know Steve Bruce is looking for a replacement for Darren Bent, but that's it. Competition Times, sponsored by our friends at Renault.co.uk. Today's your last day to enter as the games, of course, are all tomorrow. You know how it works by now. Tell me the total number of goals scored in the following four games which take place tomorrow. They are Arsenal against Wigan, Aston Villa against Manchester City, Man United against Birmingham and Wolves against Liverpool. Just those four games count. No other games are involved. And just to clarify, it's not enough to get the answer right. I have to pick you at random for you to win a shirt just like this one here. Now, Arsenal fan is from Vancouver, Canada. It says that the total number of goals scored will be 14. Uh, Alex is in Almeria in Spain, thinks there will be 15 goals. Matthew's in Los Angeles, he's a Liverpool fan, says that there will be seven goals in the four games. I don't think so. Uh, Lackey the Leprechaun's in London, he's an Arsenal fan, thinks there will be 11 goals scored. Uh, Diana Nagar was from Minnesota in the US. She says here, I love your show. My boyfriend's a huge fan uh, of Arsenal and he got me addicted to football sports. I think there will be 14 goals scored and thank you for an amazing show. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, just one more. Ashley Vakachan is in India. He didn't win the last competition. He sent me a long letter uh, that it would take me ages to read to you. Suffice to say, I'm sorry, Ashley, that you didn't win last week, but there is still time for you to enter this week's competition. The deadline is midnight tonight, London time. We will not be taking any more entries after that, uh, so make sure you get involved. The Football Spy Show is back on Monday for the final week of the transfer window. Enjoy your football over the weekend, and I'll see you next time.